Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here, and today I've got another mod spotlight for you, and we're going to be checking out Travelman, the Travelman mod. Now, what's that all about, I hear you say? Well, it's a mod that will give you um, a companion NPC with little perks. So, let's get on and show you how you make one of these guys. So you're going to need a pumpkin, not a jack-o'-lantern, a pumpkin. And this is the recipe on how to make him. Pumpkin, uh, top center. Then you need to put a chest in the middle. And then you need to put stick either side and at the bottom. And that will give you a travel man spawner. So let's take that. And we will pick this back up. Do, 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 do. Pop. There we go. Right. So all you need to do now is click on the floor. And ta-da! There's your, your friend, your NPC. So... Some of the cool things that you can do with this before I show you all these other abilities is, as you can see, you can name him. So all you do is you walk up to him, right click, and then you click on options, give me a name. So I'm going to call him um, Minor Bob. And as you can see, it says skin right there. Um, I'm going to show you how you do this. You can get a code from... Um, minecraftskins.com uh, the code for the skin that you want and let's show you it's easier and I can explain it as I do it so I'm going to switch to fraps right now because fraps can record um, Internet Explorer whereas the program I usually use can't so one moment while I switch over alright so here we are um, we're on minecraftskins.com and what you want to do is find yourself a skin that you want to use I'm choosing um, this is Zombie Miner, and right here you will see Image Link, and what you want to do is right click, copy, and then paste that in the search bar at the top, like so. And as you can see, at the top right here is the image code for that skin, and you want that code, so the bit that I'm going to highlight now is the bit you want, so you can miss the .png off the end and all the, bit, the stuff at the beginning right click and copy and then you can go back into game and paste this code in game so now I'm going to switch back to my other recording program and I'll be with you in a sec right so here we are minor bob um, so all you can do all you need to do now now you've got your code on your clipboard is control and V and there it is so you go safe I think that's supposed to say save but safe and ta-da minor bob has now got a skin so that can be any skin you like as you can see, he's got a, a backpack. Right, so let's go through some of the cool stuff you can do with this guy. I'm going to start with... Um, you can arm, you can give him armour and weapons. So all you do is you get yourself a sword, put it in this slot here, like so. And then it'll bring up his, his armour inventory. So let's stick some armour on him. And let's put that there. Ta-da! Minor Bob. Is all armoured up. It wears his sword on his back. I think it's awesome. Just look at that. It's so cool. So he'll follow you everywhere. And quite appropriately, the sun is going down. So um, I can show you what fighting he can do. And oh yeah, before we go and do that, you can see he's got 20 life, 7 attack power and 20 armour. And the red bar at the top of his name there, sorry, at the bottom of his name there, is his health bar, basically. Um, and if he does get damaged, you can heal him up. But I'll show you that um, in a little while. So, sun's going down. Hopefully some mobs will spawn in a second. And uh, we can do some killing and show you how that works. It's a nice little world we've got ourselves here, Bob. What do you reckon? I think it's quite nice. Right, so it's the middle of the night now. Um, let's go and try and find some mobs. And I can show you... I mean, we could just kill some sheep, but come on. Who wants to kill sheep? I can see some zombies. Oh, there's a spider. So, what you do is when you get near your mob that you want to kill, you middle click your mouth, mouse button and you'll go for it. Look at that. Go, Bob, go. Oh, yeah, that is so cool. Let's, let's do that again. There's a skeletal archer. So, again, you look at the mob, middle mouse button, and off he goes. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to have to get that one. And he's owned him. He's owned him up. Middle mouse button. Get him, Bob. Get him. Get him. Bob, get him. 
<laughs> there we are. Awesome. And of course you can just loot all the, all the loot. There's another zombie. Go Bob, go! That is just so cool. So there we are, that is basically one of the skills that Bob can do. Let's make it daytime. Now we can move on to some of the other stuff you can do with him. Uh, daytime. Right. So, you're thinking, okay, that's cool, but what else? Well, right click on him again, take his sword away, like so. And then he then drops his armor into, into a chest, so that's all in there, you don't have to lose that. Let's come over here a bit, Bob, come over here. Right click him again, and then get yourself uh, a chest, and put that in this slot again. And there we go. Bob is now your personal, ooh, sorry is now your personal chest, so you can put all your stuff in there and just go for a wander like oh damn, I want me chicken there you go right, so that's that little option let's show you, if, if Bob's killed as well while he's got your chest he just dumps all the stuff on the floor right, the other thing you can do is give him a furnace and he becomes a mobile furnace so let's put iron ore in there and a load of coal and that starts cooking. So let's let's go from a mooch. Uh, in fact, while while that's doing that, we'll go and get his armor. Just leave diamond armor lying around. Right. Oh, some interesting looking mountains over there. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Okay, don't fall, Bob. Right. So let's right click, and there you go. There's some iron ingots cooking away as you're just wandering around doing stuff. It's just this is just so useful, it's awesome. Right, let's get these iron ingots out. And then you can take the furnace out, put that down, give him a crafting bench, and he becomes a, a crafting bench. I've not got any sticks. Let's um, grab some sticks. Do, 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 do. Where are they? I think I've gone past them. Uh, oh, sod it, let's just make some. Right, put your wood in there straight away. You can get some uh, wood planks, uh, some sticks, uh, just just as you normally would. There you go. Awesome. Right, and then, of course, we can go like this, give him the chicken. Right, let's go, Bob, let's go. And hopefully, he'll just carry on as normal. So, I, I just, this, this mod is just epic. It is so useful. I love the fact that you can name him, you can give him his own custom skin, He'll fight for you. He's like he's just like your mobile toolkit and your best friend at the same time. So Bob, have you got some uh, chicken cooking away? So let's give Bob a couple hits with a sword. So let's just get some chicken off him. There we go. That's been cooking away nicely. And then I've hit him with a sword a couple of times. So let's um, get some bread and. You can feed him the bread, and there you go, his health goes back up. So, a bit more bread. Let's get him all the way back up. Where's the bread gone now? There it is, stack of that. Oh, an inf infinite stack of bread. There we go, and you can just give him Bob a good beating. Oh, I killed him. But as you can see, right, he had the furnace on him, and he dropped it. Didn't mean to kill him then. Oops. <laughs> so, you can only take three hits from a diamond sword. But yeah. There you go, that is that is it, that is the mod. Um, I hope you guys like that. I certainly do, I think it's so useful. Much better than the cardboard mod. <laughs> Even though that was that one's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so guys, um, I hope you like that. I loved it. Like and favourite this video, and have a good weekend. And I know I will. Catch you all soon. <laughs>